Since Dana Dimelo arrived at UTEP, the miners have said almost every week that they're making progress, even if it doesn't always show up in the win column. Tonight at home against Nevada looked to be a great opportunity for the miners to finally get over that hump, beat a team that they weren't supposed to, and have some proof that they can actually hold on to that the program is indeed growing. The Miners are 1-1 one and one coming off last week's bye, and they started hot. First drive of the game, Trayvon Hughes, the big running back, caps an extended UTEP drive with a four-yard touchdown run. It was 7-0 UTEP after one quarter of play. Second quarter, Nevada gets on the board. Toa Tawa, a five-yard touchdown run. That would tie the game up at seven apiece, but UTEP was game to that challenge. Next drive, it's Hughes again. From six yards out that time, some tough running. The Miners go back in front, but tied at 14 just before half. Christian Solano, the beautiful fade ball. Elijah Cooks, go up and get it, big fella. 20-yard touchdown, 21-14, Wolf back at halftime. Third quarter, Kai Loxley, the one-yard touchdown run. This capped a 17-play drive that took almost 10 minutes off the clock. It tied the game at 21, but last play of the third, Loxley's pass tipped, and then... It is intercepted. Nevada has great field position, and the Wolf Pack would take advantage. They put things to bed in the fourth quarter. Kelton Moore, the one yard touchdown run to ice it. UTEP would fight hard once again, but Nevada scores the final 16 points of the game to win 37 21. UTEP falls to 1 and 2 on the season. Now, KTSM 9 sports director Andy Morgan was on the call of this one tonight for ESPN. Plus. Andy, a very similar story to what we've seen from UTEP over the last couple of years. They play well, they play well, but in the end, you know, it just wasn't enough tonight. Colin, I know UTEP fans continue to hear this. I know, I know, but the Miners are improving. Now, hear me out on this. This time last year, UTEP got blown out by UNLV, who ended up finishing near the bottom of the Mountain West Conference standings. Now, fast forward to tonight. In tonight's game, they played toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good Nevada team who is one of the top teams in the Mountain West Conference, but here's the problem. They should have won this football game. They really should have. They had opportunities left and right. They just couldn't capitalize on any of them. That was uh, not good. Not to mention, uh, Nevada just had way too many short fields that led to points. That was the difference in this game. And, and talking to this team after the game, there's positives, but still a lot left to be desired. When I turn the film on, I'm going to be more and more frustrated, you know, but I'm also going to make sure I look at, I put it into perspective and understand it's a non-conference game, and, and we got a lot of big conference games ahead of us, and so we got to learn from this. That's the worst feeling I think it's you look at. You feel like we had control of the game for a while, and we could have just kept going at them, you know what I mean? Kept scoring, kept driving. Um, but little things here and there kind of mess it up, but, I mean, we can't just sit here and do all that. We just got to watch the film and kind of figure it out and fix it as fast as possible. UTEP dropping to 1-2 and two on the season. They begin Conference USA play next week against Southern Miss. Now, Brandon Jones uh, was forced to exit this game. It ended up being a shoulder injury. He did come back in the fourth quarter, but was largely ineffective when he did uh, return to this football game. He is considered day-to-day -day with that shoulder injury. We're live at the Sun Bowl tonight. Andy Morgan, KTSM 9 Sports.